Hi folks, I'm Dr. Sivis, Rob Sivis, I'm the Carb Addiction Doc. Mmm. I'm a vegan, yummy, yummy almond milk. There it is, folks, almond milk. Hell no, this is not almond milk. <laughs> okay, please, please, please don't turn off this channel right now. But I, I do want to expose almond milk and some of the other fake milks, okay? This is not almond milk, folks. This is almond juice. But here's what these companies have done. They've said, okay, we've got all these leftover bits of almonds, the ones that look really ugly, the chips that... We're not going to feed them to cows. We're not going to throw them away. Ah, ah, brilliant. Let's con the American public. Let's con the vegan, vegetarian, kumbaya, plant-based public. Let's take a handful of almonds. Let's crush them. Let's extract the almond juice and add some white dye to it. We'll add some canola oil to it because you have to do that or maybe some soy oil. We'll add some high fructose corn syrup to it. We'll add some flavorings and chemicals to it to stabilize it and we'll turn it white and we'll sell it for $8 a box. Yummy, yummy. And all the vegans and the vegetarians, kumbaya, will have the milk they so desperately want. But oh my God, it's from a cow. I can't drink that, said the vegan. So we've got almond milk. Folks, this is an $8 con. It is disgusting. It is bad for you. It is full of uh, leftover almonds. It's made white so that you would drink it as milk. It's got a whole bunch of oxalates in it. And the oxalates from these plants combine with calcium as a calcium excreter. And what do they do? Calcium oxalate stones, commonest form of kidney stones. They form crystals in your joints. They can cause gout-like symptoms in your joints. And they can crystallize in your skin and cause skin irritation, skin issues. Enjoy your almond milk. Put your almond milk with your cereal and enjoy the proteins that come from that. What else is in almonds? And you're making juice from this. What else is in there? Cyanide. Cyanide. So just like in the old James Bond movies, you can put a little bit of this in your back tooth and drink some almond milk, pour it into your, your friend's cups, but it's got cyanide in it. Is that what you're trying to drink? Is that what you want? And all those people that say, oh, well, cows are so bad, you're, you're, you're inhumane. How many bees die trying to pollinate the poor old almond, almond trees? About a third of the bees that pollinate the almond trees die and now they have to have these big commercial interests that bring bees in and in season and they release the bees and then the bees die out. We're losing bees like crazy in this country. Why not have the natural vegetation where cows who produce real milk, and I know you're going to say, oh, they're in feedlots. There are plenty of pasture-raised cows that still produce milk. But be that as it may, don't tell me that you're vegan-friendly animal rights if you're killing the bees that pollinate the almonds. But beware of the cyanide. Beware of the inflammatory proteins that are in this, um, uh, that are in this almonds and the polyphenols. The polyphenols and other toxins. Well, enjoy them. But that's what's in here. The other thing that's in the almond milk... Total fat, two grams, but it's all polyunsaturated fatty acids. Polyunsaturated fatty acids from the soy and from the canola oil. There is zero, and they disclaim this, oh, it's so good because saturated fat's so bad for you. Zero saturated fat on you in here. God and nature were wrong when they put saturated fat in milk. Oh no, thank God we've made almond milk without saturated, saturated fat in it so that your blood vessels are going to be kumbaya pristine. Well, yeah, okay, so almond milk's bad. Let's take some oats and let's crush some oats together. Let's take some oats, a tablespoon of oats, throw it in water, crush it up, and add some white coloring to it, add a little bit of fat to it from canola oil, and we'll call it almond milk. And you're going to pay $6, $7 for a box of almond milk. Yeah, if you think about the economics, you can take a darn bunch of oats, crush them up in water, and you've got almond milk. But oh no, what's in almond milk? A whole bunch of highly GI intestinal and inflammatory proteins from the seeds, from the, from the oats that are seeds, inflammatory proteins. And what are those inflammatory proteins trigger? Hashimoto's disease, thyroid disease, hypothyroidism. There's enough sugar in a cup full of oat milk to equal a Coke. 
这个罗就说个 ，Hello diabetes, hello obesity. These aren't health foods, folks. Even though the label says health food with other natural flavors, that's not a health friendly farm. <laughs> I love this one. Friendly farms, friendly farms, dairy free, soy free, gluten free. But it's got canola oil in it, and yet. What else have these companies done? You go to Starbucks. You can't buy whole milk at Starbucks. When you look at the little stands at Starbucks, there's no whole milk. There's skim milk. There's two percent. There's one percent. There's no. I don't know. Sometimes there's two percent, but there's plenty of almond milk, plenty of oatmeal milk. You go to Delta. I fly Delta a lot. My wife's a almost a two million miler on Delta. No whole milk. No whole milk. But there's oat milk, there's almond milk, kumbaya. Folks, it's ludicrous. It is absolutely ludicrous what they're doing to us. But that's what you're buying for eight dollars and six dollars a time. This is not health food. God and nature created milk for us, and the merits of milk for adults can be debated back and forth. But milk has. A lot of saturated fat. It's got a lot of protein. It's got glucose and galactose. No fructose, like the fructose corn syrup in there. It's got no cyanide in it. It's got minerals, vitamins, and trace elements that are vital for growth. No growth factors in this. Remember, oats and almonds are the seeds of plants. They want us to eat them and then irritate the hell out of our gut to poop them out at a foreign place so that they propagate. That's how smart plants are. Smart plants are smarter than humans these days. But we crush them into juice and we call it milk. If you are milk, folks, get it from a cow. One other little rant: here in the state of Florida, I can go anywhere and buy cannabis. I can wear buy CBD gummies anywhere. But you know it's illegal for me to buy for myself for human consumption. It's illegal to buy raw milk. How screwed up is that? I can buy cannabis. I can probably buy heroin. Haven't tried yet. Maybe I need it after this. I can buy heroin anywhere, but I can't buy raw milk. I am a covered inch and dark. If I've made you think, I've done my job. If you like my rant, throw a buck at us. Patreon,、uh, PayPal. It's in the show notes.